This is the FIFA State Winning Headlines, your media police post in this segment. We summarize some of the headlines that you may have missed this morning. But we also take a look at the political pieces that we call cartoons in this country. Today is the 24th of March. I am Ms. Pope. I am Serbia. And I am your host, GK. In case you missed the headlines, here they are. The Daily Nation, Karua joins the fray. The Standard, Karua move changes DP options for Raila. The Star, ODM Jubilee to get 1 billion shillings party's cash. And finally, The People Daily. Karoa, why I opted to join as a meal. Ms. Pope, why don't you take us through what we're going through today? Sure. So today we will base our submissions on the 48 laws of power, mm -hmm. a favorite book here at the Fortal School of Government. Exactly. Yeah. My submission will focus on law number 27. Mm. And before I begin, I would like to give some credit to Mr. William Ruto. I say this because Mr. Ruto has almost perfectly executed this law. Mm. Law number 27 stipulates how to create a cult-like following by playing on people's need to believe. Okay. Mm. Is it possible that William Ruto is attempting to create a cult-like following? Ah, it's a must. Mm -hmm. To become such a figure, one must accomplish these five steps. First step, one must set up an us versus them dynamic. Okay. William Bruto has created a class struggle between the hustlers mm -hmm. and the dynasties. Mm. But like we've stated here before, the masses Ruto is co-opting to make him president do not have class consciousness. Mm. They are a chaotic aggregate. Mm. And the only thing that can result from this is chaos. Mm -hmm. In fact, as we know, Professor Mutahingunyi is the biological father of the Haslam it's nation. on record there. He created it. Mm -hmm. Ruto is merely the surrogate father who saw an opportunity. Second step, for one to create a cult-like entity, mm -hmm. one mm. must disguise his source of income. Mm. That is why Ruto will have us believe that his wealth comes from eggs and chicken selling. <laughs> but in 2013, mm -hmm. Ruto himself told us that he only had 100, 100 acres, acres to his name. Mm -hmm. Eight years later, he had 18,400 acres. Mm -hmm. This means that in eight years, he acquired 2,300 acres every year, which mm -hmm. translates to more than six acres every day. Oh, wow. Who acquires <laughs> six acres of land every single day? Mm -hmm. Not to mention the multitude of helicopters and hotels. Mm -hmm. So has he disguised the source of his income? We will leave that for you to decide. Third step, one must emphasize on enthusiasm rather than intellect and rationale. Mm. On this one, Ruto has performed extraordinarily. Mm. His campaigns have been full of razzmatazz mm. rather than <laughs> intellect and, and rationality. Call him out. <laughs> Just recently, his brigade could not rationally explain to the country what bottom up means. Mm -hmm. People were left confused and the only takeaway was metaconomics. <laughs> Being enthusiastic and painting the streets yellow, but with no form of intellect and rationale, Ruto has outshined his competitor. Mm -hmm. Fourth step, for one to succeed in creating a cult-like entity, mm -hmm. one must structure the masses in accordance with the forms of organized religion. Oh, okay. Organized religions have for a long time held unquestionable authority over the people, and this is Ruto for you. He is a self-made man unquestionable, with unquestionable authority. This is why UDA has no deputy party leaders, only Ruto. And it goes further than this. He has used churches to launder falsehoods, paying pastors to peddle the falsehoods he has birthed. And this has made the church an institution of holiness complicit mm. to, his sin, to his sin. Mm. And on this one, we must pray for Ruto. Lastly, for one to effectively create a cult-like entity, mm -hmm. one must keep his words vague and simple, oh. but full of promise. Ah, that is his MO, 100%. Exactly. Is it possible that this is what Ruto has been doing while advocating for consensus within UDA? Mm. How do you promise people that if they give up one position, they will get another mm. in the next government? Case in point, Pony Halwale, um, who shelved his gubernatorial ambition to support Malala. Mm -hmm. Same thing happened in Narok and Nyeri, mm. where contestants dropped their aspirations in the promise of getting plum jobs in Ruto's government. This 
is a deceptive strategy where Ruto is being vague and simple but full of promises. Mm. What is my point here? It is clear that Ruto has followed Robert Greene's step to create a cult-like entity. Mm. And he was almost successful. He almost set up an us versus them dynamic. Mm. He was almost successful in hiding the source of his wealth. Mm. And he was almost successful in becoming the ultimate authority within UDA. He just forgot to do one simple thing, mm -hmm. to make sure people can't live. Oh. On the cult of personality, Arab Ruto is uh, Arab Moira in Kanit. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, Miss Pop has explained how Ruto has attempted to create a cult like following. Mm -hmm. Today, I would like to explain how this has failed. <laughs> We are currently in a season of political defections and in politics, as we know, there are no permanent alliances, mm. only permanent interests. Mm. Five months to the elections, the Azimio pregnancy cannot be hidden anymore. This fact has led UDA members to defect and run to Azimio, as Azimio welcomes their prodigal children back home. And this therefore begs two questions. Okay. One, what do these defections have in common? Mm -hmm. And two, why is Ruto blind to these defections? Mm. Rule number 20 in 48 laws of power tells us not to commit to anyone. Mm -hmm. By maintaining your independence, you become the master of others. Yep. Mm. However, Ruto has committed to Gemma to the point of codependency. Mm. He has been led to believe that Gemma has the key to the presidency. He is now blind to everything else happening around him, including the fact that most of the defections have been led by UDA members outside Central Province. Mm. And this is why Gemma is the red herring Miss Kay talked about on Tuesday. Yeah. William Ruto is fixated with the Gemma Nation and this is distracting him from realizing he is losing his most seasoned and loyal allies outside Gemma. That is why in the political river we call 2022 elections, mm -hmm. Raila has been getting big political mbutas <laughs> from across the country like Mother Karua, uh -huh. Kalonzo Musioka, Omingo Magara, uh -huh. Lilian Omolo, and Hussein Sobo. Mm -hmm. Meanwhile, Ruto has been fishing frogs known as Gemma MCAs and MPs. Elected political rejects that re-election data shows that they are almost never spared mm -hmm. by the voters and 80% are usually sent Go back home. It appears these non-Gema politicians like Hussein or Magara are living because UDA no longer aligns with their political principles and interests. Interest. Most have now realized the baggage that comes with Ruto's lies, and they do not want the burden of delivering the unrealistic promises he has made. A burden that will jeopardize the honest relationship they have cultivated with Kenyans. So they turn to Azimio, mm -hmm. where Baba's plan for the Republic is an achievable dream. Mm. Clearly, these politicians have heeded the words of Robert Greene's 20th Law of Power. Mm -hmm. Unlike Gemma politicians who are still in fighting and trying to renegotiate with the UDA. But could we be noticing a shift in the mountain? This week, Kabogo told us that if William Ruto doesn't give Kikuyu's one man, one, one shilling, shilling, one, one vote, vote, they are going to reconsider their relations. Mm -hmm. This is the language of defections. His closest allies have not spared him either. Even Rigadi Gashagwa has defected from being his running mate to go run for an MP seat <laughs> and has instead thrown in a political cartoon who cannot compare or be mentioned in the same sentence as our girl, Mother Karua. Mm -hmm. And if Ruto thought it is bad, wait until an animal called party nomination mm. gets here. Mm. Mm. Ruto will experience the mother of all defections. Mm. UDA will soon be a Nandi party with only himself, Sudi, and Mandago left, assuming they don't defect as well. Wow. <laughs> wow. Hey, today I'd like to ask a question. Could it be possible that Ruto is being swindled and he does not know it. Mm. And could it be that the reason Ruto has no idea that he is being swindled is because he is being tricked by master tricksters, mm. AKA <laughs> the Gamma Nation. Mm. I would like to submit that the Gamma Nation is deceiving Ruto and they are using law 21 of the 48 laws of power mm. to do so, which states, play a sucker, to catch a sucker. <laughs> the overall goal of this law is to trick your opponent into a false sense of confidence. Mm. And when the time is right, mm. 
Mm. Use that sense of confidence to gain an advantage and swindle them. Mm -hmm. And history shows us how this can work. Case in point, in 1865, Prussian leader Otto von Bismarck mm -hmm. needed Austria to sign a specific treaty that would benefit Prussia at the expense of Austria. Mm. For those of you that do not know, the Kingdom of Prussia is later to become the German Republic. Mm. Back to the Prussia-Austrian um, treaty negotiations. When von Bismarck did his homework, he discovered that the lead negotiator for Austria, Count Blom, was an amazing cards player. And so the night before the negotiations, Bismarck challenged Blom to a game of cards. He agreed, but to his surprise, and indeed the surprise of the Austrian people, Bismarck played terribly, losing every hand. Mm. He made reckless mistake after reckless mistake. Mm. He looked nervous mm. and cocky. Safe to say that Austria's Count Blom destroyed von Bismarck easily. Mm. But when the time came to negotiate the treaty, Count Blom recalled von Bismarck's performance the night before and was certain that he wasn't calculating enough to trick the Austrian people. And so he didn't even think twice. He quickly schemed through the document, the contract, and signed the papers without reading them, then shook Bismarck's hand. Mm. When the deal was finalized, Bismarck said this, I could never have believed that I would find an Austrian diplomat willing to sign that document. Mm. In that moment, Blom knew that he had been swindled. Mm -hmm. What's my point here? Gemma has been behaving stupidly. On several occasions, they have insulted their leader, President mm -hmm. Kenyatta, mm -hmm. in his own backyard. Then they continue to call for the hustler, and Gemma leaders have screamed about wheelbarrows, circumcision, and rigging. This behavior can only be described as stupid. Mm -hmm. However, history shows us that Gemma is not stupid. They are masters of deception. The Mau Mau War was a war of deception. Deception was the strategy of choice. As we have said before, the 10 counties of Gemma today have a total GDP of 3 trillion shillings. This is equivalent to the GDP of Senegal and Zimbabwe, mm -hmm. or twice the size of South Sudan, Rwanda and Burundi. Mm. This cannot be achieved by people mm. being stupid. Mm. And so we must ask ourselves the question, if they are behaving suboptimally, is it because they understand the value of behaving suboptimally? Mm -hmm. Are they playing a sucker in order to catch the sucker? Mm. But I'd like to conclude by asking a random question, and it is this. Is Martha Karua a key player in this endgame mm. and is a key part of the swindle? So, mm. for those of you that do not know, we have a three-part criteria that we use to judge the headlines for you. We ask ourselves these three questions. Is the headline topical or speculative? Is it repetitive or groundbreaking? Or finally, is it thoughtful or just plain lazy? Mm. I'll read the headlines for you once more. Karoa joins the fray, the standard. Karoa move changes DP options for Raila, the star ODM Jubilee to get one billion shilling parties cash, and the People Daily Karoa. Why I opted to join Azim Raila's Azimio. Mm. So I can see three of the headlines are focusing on the mm. big thing that happened yesterday, which is Martha Karoa. Mm. The star decided to go a different way. Uh, I think for that reason, uh, Serbia, you can toss the star mm -hmm. right off mm -hmm. the bat. So what do you guys think between the Daily Nation, mm -hmm. the Standard, and the People Daily? I, for one, am mm -hmm. quite inclined to the Daily Nation. Karua joins the fray. Short and yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. me, me too. At least uh, Karua this time around has decided not to be consigned to political oblivion. <laughs> <laughs> so are we giving it to the Daily Nation? Yeah, we should. Okay, so Daily Nation has our winning headline. On to the political pieces that we call cartoons in this country, where we also have a three-part criteria uh -huh. that we use to break them down for you. We ask ourselves the questions, is the cartoon humorous or dry, Sati satirical or pessimistic, and finally, is it effective or just plain lazy? So let us begin with the star. Mm -hmm. um, so in the star, we have a caricature of Kar uh, Martha Karua, uh -huh. and she's seated on a NAC Kenya uh -huh. seat. <laughs> on the other side, we have two suitors. Mm -hmm. One is um, Raila. Mm -hmm. It seems to be. It looks, doesn't look like him at all, <laughs> but seems to be. Seems to be Raila yeah. and, and um, Ruto. Mm -hmm. And they are both saying and telling Martha Karua, please be mine. Mm. And so we see Raila um, fitting a perfect shoe, mm. and Martha says, wow. <laughs> This, yeah. uh, this mm -hmm. reminds me of the fairy tale, eh? mm -hmm. uh, Cinderella. Cinderella. I think that's what they're trying yeah. to say, that the, the shoe fits perfectly, mm -hmm. yeah. which uh, I think we agree totally. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, uh, Serbia, why don't mm -hmm. you take us through the standard? Okay, so in the standard, we have a cartoon where Raila is in the foreground and a tree in the background. Stuck in this tree is a car called Economy. Mm -hmm. President Uhuru appears to be driving. Ruto is exiting the car, mm -hmm. saying, see, I wasn't the one driving. <laughs> 
Meanwhile, uh, Raila is at the front saying that uh, now Uhuru will clearly be my advisor. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. So this is the, uh, the relevance is that uh, uh, Raila's statement when he said that he wants to use President uh, Kenyatta as an advisor. Mm -hmm. First of all, I disagree with the cartoon. It's mm -hmm. very pessimistic mm -hmm. using the thinking of Ruto. I mm -hmm. think uh, Uhuru has steered this country to great economic heights. Yeah. If anything, mm -hmm. Raila is lucky to have Uhuru as an advisor. Mm -hmm. And yet, uh, then again, Professor Mutahinguni in one of his articles, mm -hmm. he told us the, the man who was going to take over after Kibaki was mm -hmm. going to have a very hard time, but mm -hmm. the man who was going to take over after Uhuru was going to have a very easy time. Wow. Yeah. Okay, so we can say that one off the bat. The star ha standard has been tossed out for being pessimistic. Finally, we conclude with the Daily Nation. Mm -hmm. So we have uh, sort of two cartoons at once. Huh? On mm -hmm. the first, uh, on the top of it, you have uh, a crying William Ruto. And Martha Karua is being, he's offering her the cut, hat, like sort of begging her, please. <laughs> Martha is, is dodging it to the left, <laughs> then she's dodging it to the right. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> William Ruto looks very stressed. <laughs> then in the next uh, part of the cartoon, uh, Azimio and Nakenya, the hats are fitting mm. very nicely, yeah. smiling at each other. It looks like they may have given each other a wink. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I yeah. think um, mm -hmm. this cartoon is very telling of exactly what the moment is. Mm. Um, Martha joining the other camp was more of wishing mm -hmm. rather than true uh, belief that she would actually move. Mm. And she, she's joined where she belongs. She's yeah. joined the people of the second liberation. Yeah. Um, and she's, they she's have so much history together. They have yeah. a lot of history. The hat fits very well. Mm. So I would suggest that we give the Daily Nation our winning headline, what you, uh, our winning cartoon. What do you guys think about that? It's yes. more humorous than the rest. Mm. Okay, so on a day when we had a winning cartoon from the Daily Nation and the winning headline from the Daily Nation, I would like to remind you not to forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. We're mm -hmm. also on your TV screens. Find us on Pang Free to Air, Go TV, and Star Times, and hit that that like button on the YouTube video and I will leave you with this quote by Confucius and it says it's directed directly to Martha Karua as the water shapes itself to the vessel that contains it so a wise man adapts himself to circumstances thank you so much and have a beautiful evening Good.